Hi guys and welcome to our first episode of our 100% walkthrough, the first DLC for Dark Souls 2, which is Crown of the Sunken King. Um, I do apologise for getting this out a bit late, I mean I guess it's been a week now, but I did want to explore it like legitly and find basically everything. So um, we're going to do basically what we did with the, with the original game, which is find all the items and the secrets, even though there's not really much secrets in the DLC. There's a few interesting things as we pick up our first item there to our left, which is not really that well hidden. But that's going to be it until that first bonfire as we're greeted here by this massive dragon as we walk through this little cave and find our first bonfire so before continuing all we're going to do is look to our left and hop down here and pick up this item don't worry about going through the door behind us because that's just going to lead us to a future shortcut up but anyway now back at the bonfire we're going to go down here kill our first enemy uh, before continuing here we're going to look to our left as soon as we come out to this open part and shoot this. Watch out for these these guys with bow and arrows. They're actually quite dangerous from the distance. I don't know why I shot that guy back. Didn't do fuck all to him. Uh, meanwhile, this elevator will be rising thanks to shooting that lever. Uh, in here, watch out for this one enemy with the um, lance. Take him out and go up the stairs. And we should find our first ring in the DLC, which is going to be the poison bite ring plus one. There is one thing I noticed in the DLC, they do have some interesting rings and that means that there's going to be plus three rings which were in the original game. So continuing up here, take out all our enemies, there's going to be three or four of them. Watch out for them, they're quite dangerous when they will attack you at once. Pick up these life gems over here. Before continuing, we're going to come and hit this second lever. Uh, this platform is going to be rising, but what we want to do is jump onto it and not into it because there's no point, there's no items down there. Uh, when, when you do this jump, make sure you press the R1 button to do an uh, kind of a jumping attack. If not, it's really easy to roll off and die. Uh, on our way back, this guy will have came up with the platform, so watch out for the ambush this guy does to you. Don't worry about anything else up there because uh, the only item we can get by going down those elevators we are going to get in just one second by raising this elevator by shooting that uh, lever down there, which is going to be a longbow plus seven. Uh, continuing down here, we're going to hop down to where this other item is, pick that up. I'm not quite sure what they are because uh, the preview on Sony Vegas is actually quite small and I can't really tell what all the items are. Uh, we will come to a triple crossroad here, so we've got three directions we can choose from. First of all, we're going to go to our left in this uh, horrible red room over here, which everybody's probably dreading. Uh, watch out, this, uh, this poison liquid or whatever you want to call it can corrode our stuff, so... Just try not to knock them about too much. Uh, out there we could jump down to our middle platform. And if we go out here we will head back to where we raised the elevator to our, for our poison bite ring. But we can uh, kind of come around the edge of this building and hop down here to get another item. And then we're going to jump back across to our middle path. But I'm going to come back to uh, the crossroad which we can choose free path from. But first I'm going to take out all the enemies down here because there's at least four or five of them and they're actually quite dangerous. I'm not sure if I die here. Oh no, no. I, I think I have to change weapon because uh, my great moonlight sword is about to break. But this time we're going to take the right path and over here we are going to be able to hit this thing just here to uh, make this uh, kind of pathway come out so we can jump across there. But before doing that I'm going to hop down right below it and pick up this item and show you where the other lever is so you don't even have to jump across even though it's really easy to jump across but just in case uh, there's the other one so that means with this one we can just walk straight across without having to jump at all so you know that's kind of useful if you need to know and over here watch out for this enemy which is hidden in this corner just here with this lever uh, we're gonna go ahead and press this lever and that's gonna make this platform come out of the wall so we can go across to this little building over here there's nothing too interesting in this building, just apart from a load of shit here. Um, the only, I think there's only one item in this building, which is on the top floor coming out of this little window here. But once we pick, up, um, pick that up, we can just look to our right and hop out of this door over here. And we will be back where, we, where the platform came out of the wall. So now we're going to head down our final path, which is the middle path. The one with the stairs and this moving poison statues. Uh, just watch out for that as we pick up these two items. You can kill it if you've got a bow and you shoot it in the legs. Um, now we're going to head down to this uh, path, which is another triple crossroad, even though this one's a bit more complicated and it's all a bit more connected, but we'll, we'll try and figure out part by part. So the first thing and most important thing we want to do is hit this lever here and jump on the platform before it goes all the way to the top. 
and that way we have direct access to our second bonfire of the DLC. So after we've done this, I'm just going to equip my sword again since we've repaired it. I'm going to hop out to this little ledge out here and jump down to this item. Uh, now we're going to head into the building. It, this is going to be the second floor of the building. Even though it's all kind of connected, but you know, we'll figure it out in a second. So once we have a bit of trouble killing this enemy, once we've killed him, we can either hop down to the bottom level or head out here, which is another path we can go to where we hit the first level. But uh, we're going to head across this bridge over here and pick up the Sanctum Mace, I believe it is, which is the weapons the enemies have. But now we're just going to head back into the building, head, hop down to the bottom floor and take out the two enemies What will be waiting for us here. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to head back up the ramp and this will once again lead us to the same part as where we entered this area where the uh, lever is. So now we're going to look to the left before heading up the main hill and shoot as many of these things as we can. We should um, raise at least three of the platforms with the one we raised before. Uh, there's going to be one more platform we haven't raised, which is the one over there in the distance. This platform's the only one that's going to have items on it, which is going to have two of them. Uh, there's various ways of getting to it, but I'd take the risky way here or jump in straight across from here. I don't really recommend it. It's actually quite um, risky. Uh, so to control this platform we are going to have to jump down to this other um, ledge down here and look up to our left and we will find a lever behind a building on the hill. So once we've done that, once it starts raising we're just going to hop down and, and pick up the, I think it's the Thunder Quartz Ring plus 3. Uh, below that is going to be once again another item. So this one's easier to get on the way down even though if you get it on the way down we are going to have to use a homeward bone or anything to get back to the bonfire um, because we can't make it rise again from there so now it's time to head up to our main hill pick up both of the items which are in plain sight here around the enemies just watch out for these enemies there's I think there's two of them on the ground which will kind of surprise you but anyway, once we've took out all the enemies, uh, we are at the building where we were shooting the lever, just so you have a rough idea where we are. There's the lever we're shooting from down the bottom to control the other elevator. Uh, in this building, it's basically just going to be a way up, so we can hop across all the raised platforms to get to the bonfire, which is an alternative way, I guess. But we're going to hop back down to our main hill and jump off just here and land on this platform. From here, we're going to get our bow out and scan the area and look for a few of the statues with red eyes and a lever behind them so we're going to shoot that just over there uh, once this platform's raised we'll be able to access this cave over here so we just want to hop off whenever you want to to this but before heading into the cave we are going to pick up this item on the same platform we we just elevated so in the cave there's going to be a notch whip plus seven and i'm not sure which other item i think it's the the miracle or the hex or whatever to like tranquil walker piece or whatever it's called uh there's also a weird tree in there so what you that tree does is if you hit it with a whip it will repair your items which is kind of useful i guess so now for the final part of this area we are going to head back to the bonfire and we are going to make our way to the bottommost part of this three-story building either by jumping down and losing a bit of health or coming the legit way through the building and killing off these two enemies just here just so you can see where i am placing myself so once we've done that, either way, we are going to end up at this uh, long bridge. It's kind of made out of rocks or whatever. You can't really, you can dis distinguish it quite easily. It's a really thin one. Uh, there's going to be two two items left in this level, I believe. One of them is going to be in here. Don't bother about that lever. That's just going to be a shortcut, uh, I believe, next episode, actually, just to get back down quicker. So once we come to this bridge where... Uh, mighty dragon kills these two enemies on the bridge instead of going across the bridge straight away we can break these pots and come over here and pick up this spell and that's going to be the final uh, item in this area so now we're going to head across the bridge and open a few doors and we will be in the next area which is going to be next episode so i hope this guide helped you find all the items in the level stand by for next episode and we'll see you next time